Hello everyone. Today with graph paper we are going to see how to construct a weave design, draft and peg plan for bed fold cords. Now this weave of bed fold cords is characterized by distinct ridges and spaces in between the ridges. So for the weave design we have distinctly two types of threads as you can see here. So the warp yarns marked with C are the cutting threads whereas the threads marked with the F is what are the face threads. So the face threads form the ridges whereas the cutting threads form the gaps in between the ridges. Bedford cords are very similar in appearance to corduroy fabrics only exception being that bedford cords do not have any uh, pile effect or any surface yarns in the fabric. So now let us get started with the bedford cords. So to start off or to mark a bedford cord you have to start marking the cutting yarns first. So cutting yarns are always marked in plain weave. Now we have one cutting yarn here and we have one as the last one. So when the weave repeats, the two cutting yarns are going to come in together. So I have marked the first cutting yarn as one up, one down, one up, one down in plain weave. Now, if you look at the two yarns in the center of the weave, I will again start marking it with one up, one down and one up, one down. The next cutting yarn in the center is going to be exactly the opposite of the previous one. So I mark it as one down and one up. Now the last cutting yarn is going to come together with the first cutting yarn when the weave repeats. So the last cutting yarn is going to be marked as one down and one up which is the opposite of the first yarn. Now once we have marked the cutting yarns we need to mark the face threads. Now both the sets, now you have two sets of face threads. This is the first set of the face threads and this is the second set of the face threads. Both these sets form long floats. Now if we were to divide this into two halves you can see the first set would have the long floats in the first two weft yarns whereas in the second set the long floats would be in the third and the fourth pick. So the long floats would be placed diametrically opposite in the weave design. So let us mark the long floats here where I am marking it on the first two picks in the first set of face yarns and in the second set of the face yarns I am marking it in the third and the fourth pick. So this is my long float which is formed by a long uh, loop in the weft direction. Taking it further, we are doing bedford cords on plain weave on a pair of picks. Bedford cords as discussed is made with plain weave or with twill weave. So right now we are looking at the draft and design for plain weave on a pair of picks. So here I have two picks here and I have two picks here in the second half. So I am going to mark plain weave on these two picks on both the sets of face yarns to create my bedford cord. Now since I have my cutting yarn and it is one up here, I will start marking the plain weave on the third pick as one down and then I take it one up. Complete my repeat and mark it again. Likewise, on the second half, I am going to mark the plain weave starting on the first face yarn as one up and one down. The second one will be a reverse of that. For the third one goes as one up and the fourth one goes as one down and one up. So this is what a draft design of the weave design looks like in case of bedford cords on a pair of picks using plain weave. Let us look at the draft also. Now for the drafting, since we have cutting yarns and we have the face yarns, we are going to mark in the harnesses. Now we have six harnesses since we are going to use six different types of 
warp yarns or six different interlacement orders. So first two harnesses are going to be used by the cutting yarns. So this is my first cutting yarn which goes into the first harness. My second cutting yarn right in the center is the same as the first one. So that also goes into the first harness. The next cutting yarn goes to the second harness and the last cutting yarn also goes to the second harness. As we remember, our drafting order is dependent on the interlacement order of the warp yarns. Similar interlacement goes to the same harness, different interlacement goes to different harnesses. Moving up ahead, I will take the first set of the face yarns and I will place it in the next two harnesses. Now there are four face yarns but the interlacement order of the first and the third face yarn is identical whereas the interlacement order of the second and the fourth face yarn is identical. So I start by placing these. So I go to the third harness for the first, pick, first face yarn fourth for the second face yarn, third for the third face yarn and fourth for the fourth face yarn. Moving ahead to the second set of the face yarns, again it is the same kind of interlacement or same kind of similar kind of pattern like the first face yarns where I have two different types of interlacement orders, first and third, second and fourth. So I place them in my fifth and sixth harness respectively so if I have to see my draft my draft has got split up into my cutting and face yarns distinctly with the first two harnesses being used for the cutting yarns and the next four harnesses being used by the face yarns the peg plan of this would follow a similar order like the weave design on the basis of the picking order of the harnesses. So the first cutting yarn is one up one down. The second cutting yarn is one down one up and follows the same order. In the third harness I have the first face yarn from the first set which is two up one down and one up. My next face yarn is two up rather three up and one down. Fifth and sixth harness has my second set of face yarns. So the interlacement is one up, one down and two up. And the last one is one down and three up. With this, we complete the weave design, draft and peg plan for Bedford cords using plain weave on a pair of picks. In the next video, we will see Bedford cords on alternate yarns with plain weave. See you soon. Thank you.